Hey Jamdin developers, this is Jamdin Kaiso 45th tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be creating a PDF downloader as well as a file downloader inside our Jamdin form for both Android as well as iOS. So in order to create a project inside our Jamdin forms, I'll just go to file and then select new and then project. Here we'll select a cross platform and then select a cross platform app and then give it a name as PDF downloader or as you may like and then click on OK. After that, you can select a shared as well as a .NET standard project. Here we'll be basically dealing with root project rather than project that are targeting both Android and iOS. So I'll minimize them. Let us minimize our iOS as well as Android project. Inside our app.jml, it has two parts. They are jml as well as .cs part. Let us go to code behind of app.jml. Here main page is a placeholder which contains the page to be loaded. That is our main page is going to be loaded when our app gets started. So let us directly go to our main page. Since in previous session, we have already discussed about our content page and what their use now let us create a button and I'll be giving that button a text as I am download button and you can type anything for that and let us create a clicked event as button clicked and then I'll give as text color uh, anything you can like I'll give it to a black and then whose background will be let us give white color okay and then i'll give a horizontal option as center vertical option as center okay that's all for our button and this button should be placed inside our stack layout and then i'll give that stack layout padding property as 10 and then spacing property as 5 now let us bring that stack layout at last so that it can wrap our buttons that's all now when our button gets clicked then this event should be handled inside our code behind of main page that is the event that is generated when our button gets clicked we should take a path for our file that should be downloaded when our button gets clicked i'll get that link from our google drive as shareable link get that shareable link and then copy it by pressing ctrl plus c and then before placing over here let us paste that inside our text document here i have to change some value so that it gets directly downloaded as download and id i have to mention that also okay and then copy it inside our visual studio url and this is the url that will be downloaded when our button gets clicked now you should remember that this URL should be passed outside of our mobile application using different browser getting that open URI as new URI and passing that URL that's all now let us build our project whether it gives me correct output or not and this project will be applicable for both Android as well as iOS let us see now when I click this I am download button then it should give me a correct output okay started downloading that's all now let us check in our background thread whether it's downloading or not okay we got our expected output that's all thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials